Well, hello there. My name is Don King, and over the course of the next month or so, I'm going to be documenting my attempt at growing oyster mushrooms at home. I purchased uh, an espresso oyster mushroom kit from fungiperfecti.com. Uh, the oyster mushroom strain that I'm going to be using is called Pleurotus ostriatus. When you receive it, it comes looking like this. It has a little filter uh, to let in and out oxygen and uh, a little bit of moisture as well. And uh, it's basically inoculated sawdust. Um, and you can see, if you look very closely, the sort of whitish substance on the inside of this bag. Uh, that is the mushroom mycelium, which is growing throughout this uh, sawdust right now. The espresso oyster mushroom patch basically just means that you can inoculate spent coffee grounds with uh, the package, the kit that you get from uh, the website. And if you're going to be using coffee grounds, you can uh, save them in your uh, freezer for uh, until you get enough to, uh, to fill up your buckets. Um, you don't want to just save them at room temperature or even refrigerated because they most likely will grow mold. You can also check your local, your local coffee shops uh, because a lot of times they will save the coffee grounds for you and allow you to just come pick them up. So the first step is uh, preparing your substrate or coffee grounds. And I have several bags of coffee grounds. I did have them in the freezer so they're pretty much uh, thawed by now. And I'm going to, you're supposed to use a, a one five, big five gallon bucket uh, for your mushrooms. Since I don't have that handy, I'm going to use two smaller buckets. Uh, they're about three gallons each. And I've prepared the buckets by drilling holes in the bottom uh, of the bucket so water, excess water can drain out. Otherwise, you'll get uh, too much water clumped in the bottom and uh, possibly, again, more molds and things like that would be more likely to grow. So here's my bucket. The instructions tell me that I first uh, I'm going to be filling the bucket uh, just about maybe a little more than halfway uh, with the coffee grounds and then working in the mushroom spawn um, and then sort of patting it down by hand so it's sort of firm. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I filled up my bucket um, maybe two thirds of the way with some of the coffee grounds and the instructions tell me now to uh, thoroughly water the uh, uh, coffee grounds so there's enough moisture and then I have to drain off all the excess water. Um, they, t they say that using rain water is probably one of the best, way, uh, the best types of water to use, but being that it's mid-February in Ohio, there really isn't much rain water to be found. So several days ago I actually scooped up several buckets of snow uh, and let them uh, and, and let it melt in my basement. So I'm going to be using melted snow water instead. <laughs> okay, now I've got my buckets all ready, both of them, and I'm ready to uh, inoculate my substrate. Okay, so I've thoroughly mixed my uh, sawdust spawn into the coffee grounds and pressed it down by hand. And now I just need to uh, put on the humidity tents and uh, mist once or twice a day with the same water that I used before and um, wait for about two to three weeks and see what happens. <laughs> 